lyrical lashing where insults turn into wordplay. After the strike, you strike again. We go inside the world of battle rap. The acapella sport, the artistry. Fox 5 exclusive with two of the biggest names in the game. One of the biggest and the best battle rappers in the entire culture. Battle rap. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, and all my network partners over at Fox 5. And why? Hold on, hold on. Before we even get started, you know what I'm saying? I got a new segment that I got coming out called Overtime. The first episode is going to be with Geechee Gotti. We shot it at Fox after our show. You know what I'm saying? So we got more things going on. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy the trailer. Y'all let me know in the comments, you know what I'm saying, what you think about it. Uh, the first episode with Geechee Gotti should be out this week. You guys already know what it is, so I had to let your motherfuckers know. Gang, 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 bang. Let's get back to it. Yeah. I ain't gotta let that beat talk, let's go. I'm a real niggas in the tennis. Look. Hundred thousand was the first step. Next step was the millions. I want my name on some buildings. Spread the game to my children. Expensive pain is the feeling. We mafia like Sicilians. La Costa Nostra. Print my name on a wanted poster. You ever shot a nigga and it wasn't over? Went to the funeral, I just wanted closure I signed to the gang when they wanted soldiers Militant, window tent, jail, stood a stint Innocent, pled guilty due to ignorance Killed that a liquor store, try to get a sip Now they pouring out liquor for remembrance Memories, they begin to fade Now I feel like Michael Jordan in a pair of J's Late night when I start to pray Dear God, protect me from my ways Cause Lord, I know that it's better days since the age of 12, we was Aaron K's Since when a nigga tell and he get to stay How a nigga make his bed and he ain't get to lay What happened to the cold? What happened to the pride? Seen so much death that I forget to cry And you can live a lie You only get two choices, nigga, live or die Hey, this a letter to the block How I made it to the top, this a letter to the block How I make it out them shots This a letter to the block, try and take me out my spot it's a letter to the block. Man, where do we start? So shout out to everybody out there. I see all the talk going on online, all the back and forth, the the, the comments, the blogs, things like that. There's a couple dope events coming up too. My brother Showtime SP will be in the building pretty soon, you know what I'm saying? He be working, we be grinding, etc. etc. Family, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, things. But uh John John had an interview. With hip hop is real, and it's looking like it's about to become a series of interviews where they break down different things and they're talking about him versus Easy the Block Captain. And basically, John John, he said a couple of things, some things that may be true. There's some things that I don't agree with. Some people are going to call him a hater for the interview, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let them get too far ahead of you. Because for months, all we heard from was Easy. Facts for whole January, Lives, December, every day, all day. This algorithm man, boy, man. Algorithm boy. But if after one thing after another, when certain some things don't go his way, he disappears. Don't run from the smoke now. You asked for all of this attention. You was running around like you was that nigga. You asked for all this attention. I'm that nigga. I'm algorithm boy. Algorithm. Boy. He got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. But before we even get started, Dope in the Pen, Bullpen has an event going on. You know what I'm saying? They got Pass versus Calico. They got Rum Nitty versus Charlie Clips again. Uh, it's, they got Danny Myers versus Low Soul. There's a lot of dope battles on that card, you know what I'm saying? So make sure that y'all tuning in to that card that's going to go down in Oakland, you know what I'm saying? Um, John Johns also going to battle Mr. Fab on that card. So... He's talking about Easy in this interview, and I'm not gonna lie, some of the stuff that he was saying, it's hard to not come off sounding like a hater, because when he's talking about the whole A-side, B-side thing, I get it, you know what I'm saying? A-side is the bigger name, B-side is the other name, so Tay Rock battles Jerry West or something like that. Tay Rock's gonna be the A-side because Tay Rock is who he is, Jerry West will be a B-side, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, John John's premise is Easy's career and all of the millions of views that he's done have been built off of top tier names, you know what I'm saying, the bigger names. Well, in battle rap and in a transition in sport, you got 95% of these niggas are stuck on the app. Yes sir, this nigga spitting. Damn nigga. 
That's first and foremost. So I think that the whole play for a million views, a million views, who's gonna do, who are they doing a million views with? Who could they do them with? Most of the battlers can't battle or ain't going on YouTube anyway. So I don't see how this is even a thing. How is this even a thing when most of these niggas ain't going on YouTube? How many battlers are stars right now that are strictly on YouTube? Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. And that could like move around, battle wherever they want, and boot the boot. Is it A Ward and Easy? That's it. And Easy can't move wherever he wants. Because if he go on RBE right now, URL feel like he's still in a fucking contract. Boy, ain't no fucking I way. I know boy. that's how they feel. They boy, ain't feel no way. I look like, I don't hate you. Boy, ain't no I don't way, speak boy. to none of these niggas on a daily basis. I just do my news thing in and out, dip, dip, dibble and dabble, dibble and dabble. I know for a fact they feel like he's still under a contract. I don't know who's out of what deal, whatever case may be, but that's how they feel. URL's involved in a lawsuit with RBE, as long as, as well as a lawsuit with Norbs that all the news has been on, that they, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas is like, they better, you better settle and meet the devil. Right? You know what I'm saying? We'll speak more on that in the future, but the artists can't move everywhere they want. So how are you gonna get a million views? I think that talk would have been realer, not realer, I feel like that talk would have been more more suggested for a time frame when views was everything and people was on YouTube like that. It's not like that no more. It really ain't. When I go into uh, different battles and I think of different scenarios, how can, I, how can I compare a battle that never came out on YouTube to a battle that is on the tube? But, so here's the thing, right? My question is if John John and Easy battle, who's the A side, who's the B side? Now how about that? Between y'all. Please, in these comments, if them two was to battle, who's the A side and who's the B side now? Yeah, Easy lost the battle. Yeah, John John lost the battle too. He lost the surf. Pretty bad loss. You know what I'm saying? But the one thing I will say about John John, I did agree with a lot of the premise of what he was talking about. He was saying, yo, you got to be the same in wins and losses. Things can't not go your way and then you're out of here. Three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. I don't know where this nigga's at. I don't know where he's at. This nigga's probably living in Panama somewhere. He probably done changed his number. I heard he changed his number. And he, he, nobody knows where the nigga's at. But you gotta stay good in, 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 in wins and in losses. That shows the true, your true, your true heart. You know what I'm saying? Like if you lose, you come back outside and again, look, you know what? He got me. I'm on. The, we we be back in November. You know what I'm saying? But that takes a lot, especially from someone who. Feels like they never lost, feel like there was nothing they could do wrong, because when Easy was doing this shit, everything that he was doing was materializing. He built a car, they tore the car down. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. Got another car built, people rallied behind it, they were supporting it, et cetera, et cetera. And he had to build it back up, then he battled this, he battled this, and he battled Reed Dollars. Now, you saying that he's not the A-side in them battles, he is the A-side in them battles, because trust me, if Reed was on that card battling somebody else, niggas wouldn't even caught the pay-per-view. If Diz was battling somebody else besides Easy on that card, nobody would have caught that pay-per-view. I'm telling you right now, people went there to see him. So when it's a way that you could get a battle without downplaying what somebody has going on. Because I tell you what, I tell you what, John John. When he was battling all your friends over there on you all, he was whooping all their ass. When he was battling your your people, he was beating all of them. What the, we don't care about A side and B side when niggas is getting their ass whooped. How about that? I can guarantee you that we don't care. Why do I care about who's bringing in the bigger draw and who's the name on the car? I care about who win. I care about who fitting to get their shit smoked. You know what I'm saying? My, my slogan is he got smoked, not he not broke. I don't give a fuck how much money these niggas is making. I don't care about their status, their Instagram following. Uh, the, the TV show. I don't care about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I do care about it in the grand scheme of things, but when it comes to battles, no. It means nothing. Who gonna win? Um, another thing John John said, yo, this right here, John John, what, what the hell, what the hell you got going on? Easy in October, you know what I mean? Yeah. But when I seen that he was gonna have other battles leading up to October, you know, my proposition started making less and less sense. You know what I mean? What kind of shit is here? You told this nigga to wait till October to battle for 50. That nigga, why the fuck is he gonna wait till? Why, why, my nigga? Why would he wait till October when he got like three fifty thousand dollar battles lined up back to back to back to back, nigga? The nigga was getting anybody he wanted at the time. Anybody. 
And he had Remy money backing him. And I heard they would. You know, like, come on, though. Why is he going to wait for you? Please, I would love somebody got to explain that. He said, and I quote, I was going to put the money up, but I wanted to wait till October. My nigga, he probably got that for Hitman. He probably got that for whoever else after him. Why is he waiting? So that in that regard, I, I, I'm not waiting for you. I'm sorry. You want him to wait from when? June, July? When was y'all talking shit to each other? March, April, May, June, July? So he's supposed to wait June, July, August, September, October to potentially get 50000 my battle you. What you talking is that you're going to beat him, so what would he be waiting for? I don't agree with that shit at all. I'm just going to say that. But overall, if you're asking me right now, do I want to see them battle or would I watch it or am I fucking with it? Yeah, I am. Um, do it seem like John John's fishing for a battle? Yeah, it does. I ain't going to, I'm not going to hold you. All this shit on a Tuesday, like, what, what are we doing here? It definitely seems like he's trying to get a battle, and there's nothing wrong with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm with the shit happening. I'm totally with it happening. But we're not going to act oblivious to the fact. Because the thing is, there's a way that you could say somebody you're better than someone without downplaying their accomplishments. He's basically, in these interviews, he's basically saying it like, his style won't work no more. Who said that? Who said that? Who said his style won't work no more? Hmm? He battled a very good Geechee who had a viral round against him in front of a fucking rap icon. You know what I'm saying? Like a fucking famous female rapper. That's going, you ain't winning that battle. I'm sorry. But, uh, like I said, not hating on John John. I'm just calling down the middle. I call like I call it so I can't, because I can't spoil it. A lot of niggas are saying you wasn't the A-side since you beat uh, Jack Boy Maine. That's what niggas in the comments was. That's what they were saying. That's what they were saying. I... Hey, yo, what the fuck? Shit. It was like, yo, he ain't been the A-side since he whooped this nigga ass. You know what I'm saying? And he was new. But I do feel like the premise and the structure of battle rap is built upon shots being given. You know what I'm saying? Somebody has to give someone a shot. Calico, Loaded Lux has to give Calico the shot. Nigga, Hitman has to give you the shot. Nigga, Hitman has to give you the shot. We're not talking about you right now. Well, we probably are, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, it might be a little reach. You know, John John is nice and he from uptown, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do it like that, you know what I'm saying? But, figuratively speaking, that was your reach. That was your shot. That was a shot that put you into the light. And all else was done. I'm showing niggas how to control the room. That was your moment. Can't be mad at how easy he went about getting his moment. Now, there may be people who feel mad about the way he left URL, etc., etc. But me personally, I've always been if you can't get paid on earth this big, you're worthless, kid. You don't even deserve to live. I never was one that was a proponent of these contracts, locking people in. You can't go here, you can't go there. I'm hearing niggas, when niggas used to tell me they can't get booked here, but they can't get booked somewhere else. So now they got to go get a job and all this other extra goofy shit. I never, because I, I don't think they battle enough to not to justify, back then, you know what I'm saying, like in the years, I didn't feel like battlers were battling enough to justify not them not being able to take some money somewhere else. Now these niggas battle every fucking week, you know what I'm saying, so it is what it is. But, um, John John versus Easy, I'm sure it'll be a good battle. Great, I don't know, because John John T-Top just had a forgettable battle, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, y'all niggas can call it how y'all call it, I ain't hit a lot of nobody. Um, and Easy's coming off of a loss. Could the two of them get together and potentially make a big battle? Yeah, they could. But where would it happen at? You know what I'm saying? Is he going on bullpen? Is John John going on Chrome 23? Is Easy even battling on Chrome 23? They haven't said nothing. Like that's the biggest thing. Like I do agree with John John, but you saying Easy's not an A side battler, nigga? Nigga did a million views on a battle he didn't promote. This nigga did. A, this nigga did a million views without promoting, nigga. Bullshit. No bullshit. That nigga did a million views and didn't even promote the fucking battle, bro. Nigga didn't go live. Nigga ain't pay his internet bill. He ain't go live. He ain't been live in fucking three minutes. Now, easy. This is what I will say about you before I get out of here. Nigga, you need to come back outside. We don't give a fuck. We do not give a fuck about none of that shit that was going on, allegedly going on, none of that. Niggas, the YouTube streets, B. You know how much money you missing out here? Do you know how much money you're missing out here? It's maybe like 10, 15 people in the world that's affiliated with battle rap that know the kind of money a channel like that is missing. I happen to be one of them. You know what I'm saying? You missing a lot of bread out here, my nigga. You, you, if you good like that, if you get money like that, straight up, 
But if you can miss them thousands, zzz, thousands a month, about a good paying regular job, a good paying nine to five, if you if you willing to miss that every month just by not going live, nigga, god damn, you better than me. But uh, John John, while I do agree with some of the things that you're saying, that A side B side don't really mean shit because we want to know who's gonna win. I don't care. You tell them to go do a battle with A Ward and get a million. Where's it gonna happen at? On well, Chrome? Okay, that's cool, but. For easy, that's kind of like battling down. Nobody really wants him to battle down now. He done battled his way to this top, top tier. Now you want him to start battling down? Like, why? Why would he get all the way up past disaster? He done battled Geechee, Hitman, Calico, Goods, t, -T All these niggas he done battled up there. Now y'all want him to come down and start battling niggas on the, on the mid-level to, to show that he could do a million with them? That shit is counterproductive. Why would he do that at this point? You wouldn't do it. You would not do it if you was at the top of the world where this nigga was at before the the um before the fucking Geechee battle. You would not come down here and just be battling random niggas just to do it. Now you have beat new niggas before and you battle people on bullpen too. You know what I'm saying? You got Reggie P joint. You got a couple more joints where you will go give a shot. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is I don't see you getting to the top of battle rap and then taking advice to come down here. And, and prove to the world that you could do a million views versus fucking Tone Montana or some shit like that. No disrespect to him. But it's not needed. It really ain't. You know? It really ain't. If Reed was the A side, that battle hasn't hit a million views yet. Whose fault is that? When I seen it, niggas were saying that, oh, Easy can't bring this battle to a million. But if Reed's the fucking A side, why he can't bring it to a million? That's always gonna be the question. It's always gonna be the question. Easy versus Chess. Okay, we could say Chess was the A side at the time, but I really feel like it was. Uh, I felt like at the battle it was it was kind of debatable, back and forth. It was a good battle overall, but overall, I do feel like it's a good conversation that that could be had. Uh, I don't think Easy is interested in the battle. I mean, I, I don't think he's interested in it. He probably, if he takes anything, he's gonna take something to try to save his year, like to try to get a big K or to try to get something like that. Not say, to try to get him back at the top, 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 top position if he's not in it, you know what I'm saying? But most people right now, I've been seeing, you know, keep my ear to the streets and I see and hear shit are talking about Big K. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the talk of the, of the millions of views, it got jaded and fucked up. The contracts, niggas can't go nowhere, niggas can't battle here, they can't battle there, they can't battle on YouTube and shit. And, you know, like a lot of people said, a lot of that shit started with Norbs. Norbs started with that contract, contract bullshit. Fuck this league bullshit. Like, he started with all that. He started all of that shit. Fuck the bloggers and all. He did everything that was said, he more than likely did. If not, he had a hand in the shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not mad. I ended off with this, you know what I'm saying? Because the you all had put the statement out talking about uh, they, they didn't reach any agreement, no settlement. They got to go see a mediator and shit like that. Mediators are standard practice in court proceedings, whether it be business, uh, before you get put on child support and shit, you got to go see a mediator and just say, I can sit down there and kind of agree to some shit. If you don't agree, you go see the judge. A lot of niggas been through this type of shit before. So, them having to go see a mediator is nothing that's out of this world. But, them having to go see one says to me that there's a premise where... There's a premise where you niggas should meet up and try to discuss this shit and get this shit taken care of. That's why you're going to see a mediator. It ain't because... The sky is blue here and it's orange in Egypt, so we just gonna put y'all together. He ain't doing that. They want y'all to go see it because, nigga, it's going to that next level. It is going to that next level. A lot of y'all can say, uh, and then this is a lot of people that hit me up um, with comments about my last blog, and you know what I'm saying? I was talking about Norbs has pro bono lawyers and shit, but they were saying that these guys still have to meet the same qualifications as the big dogs. It's not like they're any less than any of the big dog lawyer superstars. And while I do understand that, I did say it takes a special level of understanding and diligence in battle rap to break down that kind of case and be able to go through the ins and outs and take someone with high multi-million dollar pop, big power play lawyers and, and, and take them out. That shit ain't easy. I don't care what nobody say. It ain't easy. But overall, do I feel like, I've been saying this, but I said this more than once, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And this is probably be the last time I speak on Norb's case until something big comes out, whether development or a settlement or, or they go to trial or some shit. Because I only speak about it once every couple months because I ain't really trying to talk about it that much because it, it ain't went nowhere. But it's going somewhere, but it ain't got to the final stage yet. So, 
You all put out their statement yesterday, you know the big bad, we got a first round victory, a knockout big, talking this Don King shit like they won. Nigga, you really ain't win shit because you're still in court three years later. If you won, they would have hung this up already, but I know you got to tell the fans some shit to, uh, to hear. So, when it comes to Norbs, do I feel like he should get something? Hell, motherfucker, yeah, he should. He brought all them stars in there. Every one of all, damn near the whole roster he brought in there. What, who did them niggas bring in there? Them niggas collectively can't tell you 10 niggas they brought in there. The rest, they can't tell you 10 niggas they brought in there. But Norbs can tell you damn near 50 he brought or had something to do with. I know because I was there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, they can lie to whoever they want to. I was there. I seen them. Sorry. No. So, I got the t shirt from him. So, when Norbs has his $100 million yacht cruise, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you send my motherfucking invite, you know what I'm saying? You still got my um, address. If not, I'll make sure I get it to you and shit. But overall, I do feel like he should get, he should get something. There's no way. You get to a point where y'all getting multi-million dollar deal to kick your man out the whip. And the premise was, he trying to holler at, uh, uh, what? Man, y'all niggas crazy as a motherfucker. Pay that nigga. Pay him. That's all I'm saying. Pay that nigga. Yeah, no, get your motherfucking bread. But John John, a um, lot of sense. But, you know, and some, some of this shit did sound like you was hating. I ain't even gonna hold you. Some of this shit sound like you was hating. But if the battle gets booked, I will watch it. I will fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all check out his.